Assalamu alaikum and very good morning my dear students. I hope you are fine and welcome to all of you in my math class. And today's is graph uh, which one is 7.3 and this one is your first class and uh, so after completing this class if you have any confusion please ask your subject teacher in live class. We are giving also the live class you know this one. So uh, everyone up in your math book first uh, exercise 7.3 uh, uh, which one is the page 132. So let's go to our today's lesson. Welcome to all again in this recorded class uh, which is organized by Milestone School and College. And today class 7 subject mathematics and I am Jay Rohman teacher of Milestone School sector 14 Uttara. Today's topic is simple equations, uh, chapter seven, exercise 7.3. Uh, at this, at the end of this lecture, students will be able to explain what a graph is and plot the points by taking axes of graphs and using suitable unit and solve the equations through graphs. Previous lesson already have solved 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 of exercise 7.2, page number 125. But today I will give a maths. Uh, you have to solve yourself. This one now solve yourself. After solving, then you can again watch this uh, video. Okay. And what is the number if 27 is subtracted from it, the difference will be minus 21. Now I will solve this one. Now check your maths. So here uh, let the number is X. So when I check this X, so here given 27 is subtracted from this, right? So we can According to the question, we can write x minus 27 is equal to minus 21. So, or 27 will take in right side, so it will be by transposition law, and 27 minus 21, it will be 6. So, the required solution is 6. And today's lecture number is 49, exercise 7.3, page number 132. And we will solve d of 13 14 of exercise 7.3 so first uh, before we start uh, solving this math first we will uh, know some definition of what is graph in math a graph can be defined as a pictorial representation or a diagram that represents data or values in an organized manner it describes the relationship between lines and points Famous mathematician René Descartes of France gave first the idea of coordinates. And here this suppose the point of A here given X and Y, X and Y it can be any number positive, negative, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. So this X we can tell this number is called abscissa and the Y which one is called ordinate. And the, the point of A, that is x, y, this one x, y is called coordinate. Now what is plotting of points? On a graph paper, there are small equal squares made by horizontal and vertical parallel lines. To show the position of points or to plot a points in a graph paper is called plotting of points. That means how to plot the points, we, we need to know this one. This one is graph paper and this line, uh, we know this line is horizontal and vertical line. So X O X prime and Y O Y prime. And this line is called horizontal line and this line is called vertical line. And this line will plot this two point A and B and A here minus two and three. So this uh, when vertical and horizontal line intersect at uh, O, that at that time the graph is divided into four parts or four quadrants. Okay, 
so this one is called first quadrant always this value will be plus plus maybe you did not understand second quadrant minus plus third quadrant minus minus and fourth quadrant will be plus minus okay how is it actually now a is equal to minus 2 and 3 this one is minus and 3 is plus so minus and plus that means this one minus and plus so this point this value of a that means this point it will go this second quadrant okay this one is plus 3 and minus 1 so plus minus so plus minus which one this one plus minus that means this point will go in fourth quadrant okay fourth quadrant means fourth part this part plus and minus so now how can you this one we have to know this so in x x x in the right side always it will go to positive number and which one is negative that means when the fcc is plus we have to go to the right side in x axis when fcc is minus is this uh, 2 is minus here this fcc is minus at this time we have to go to the left side in x axis and when ordinate is plus we have to go to the upper side okay and ordinate is minus we have to go to the lower side lower part so by this way we have to plot this point so here given a minus 2 and 3 so 1 2 1 2 yes this uh, fcc is minus so we have to go to the left side from 0 so 1 2 this one is 0 point okay from 0 we have to go to this side so 1 2 and uh, ordinate is uh, plus so we have to go to the upper side so 1 2 3 so this point will be here so just we have to write uh, this point minus 2 and 3 so same way um, this point of b we have to place here 3 and minus 1 so 1 2 3 okay in this fcc is plus so we have to go to the right side and uh, ordinary is minus so we have to go to the lower part okay in y axis so one is here so that's that's why this point will be here so just write my three and minus one like this why you have to plot the point now let's go our today's maths job 13 is here given 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 3 and we have to solve and show the solution in graphs also so first we have to solve this maths so 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 here given of this one just take x in the right side left side and 2x minus x and this one we have to take in the right side then 1 will be minus right and 3 is also here given minus so 2x minus x it will be x and this one when you take the, that one is called transposition law right so 2x minus x it will be x and minus 3 and minus 1 it will be minus 4 when you get the same sign you have to add so x is equal to minus 4 the required solution is x is equal to minus 4 no uh, 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 there are two parts so first we will uh, solve two first part that means the in right part okay and left of there are two parts so uh, give an equation 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 3 first we will take any value of x and then we will find the corresponding value of 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 so that's why you need to find uh, we need to draw two box two table so taking some different values of x and we will find the corresponding value of 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 and make a joining table 1 and table 2 respectively okay let's see how to take this one table 1 so if i take first x and x at 2x plus 1 uh, already i have told that means uh, first we will take the value of x and we will find the corresponding value of 2x plus 1 so x comma 2x plus 1 so any value we can take of x that means if i take uh, suppose the value is 3 so if i take 3 uh, in place of x so it will be 3 towards 6 like this 3 towards suppose 2x plus 1 now we have to find this value so if this x value we have to take uh, as your wish whatever you will take that one will be right 
so when you check the value of x this this value we have to take uh, we have to place in 2x plus 1 that means i have written here 2x plus 1 that means uh, the instead of x we have um, i have written uh, 3 that means 3 towards 6 plus 1 it will be 7 3 to 6 plus 1 7 so just we have to write here 7 have you understood how uh, how uh, uh, how have i got this one seven so like this uh okay, if i take the value of x is uh suppose uh, minus four so it will be minus seven so now check minus four minus four and two if you multiply then it will be eight uh, eight plus one it will be minus seven the same way you have to just find the value of two if i take two to two or four plus one it will be five so just write here two five this one uh, take three points just uh, on the graph paper uh, on the graph of 2x plus 1 just uh, we got this point the same way we have to find the table 2 and that one is x first we will take and x minus 3 so first we will take the value of x then we will find the value of x minus 3 so i have taken the value of x is 3 so it will be 0 so maybe your telling sir you have taken first table is three second table is also three no you can take any value of x three if i so it will be zero three minus three it will be zero so uh, three comma zero we can add three comma zero this two value we have to write all together so minus four if i take uh, minus four the value of x is minus four so it will minus four if i take so minus four minus three it will be minus seven so just minus four minus seven just together we have to write here so if i take five so it will be five minus three it will be two so just write five comma two and these three points on the graph paper of uh, on the graph of x minus three we have to plot these points in a graph paper now this graph paper uh, first you have to draw that means x o x prime and y o y prime okay this one is first table x and x 2x plus 1 and x comma 2x plus 1 already you have got this value uh, these three points we have to uh, plot in this graph paper so here given 3 and 7 so 3 and 7 how to plot this point so 1 2 3 and 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this point will be here okay 3 7 here that's why you have to plot in in this point though then minus 4 and minus 7 so this one is both one is minus so it will be go to the third quarter and already have learned this one right so minus four that means in x axis abscissa is minus so we have to go to the left side in x axis right so four and uh, this one is minus seven you have to go to the lower part lower side one two three four and one two three four five six seven is here right now two and five so how to plot this point is very easy one two and five is a uh, uh, ordinary is a positive so one two three four five just place here and 2 comma 5 now we have to add this point that means we'll join this point so what will be we will get a straight line right so same way we will plot this the second table 3 0 uh, 4 minus so so 3 0 is here 3 uh, the 1 2 3 this one and y that means ordinary is 0 so don't go the up and lower side and minus four and seven already you have placed in the table of first minus four and seven that means this one is also same this point second point and third point five and two this one is five so one two three four five and two one two is here it's very easy right so one two so now join this point then we'll get a straight line now we'll write uh, some description let two mutually perpendicular lines x o x prime and y o y prime this one is prime b x axis and y axis respectively with with o as the origin and let the length of a side of the smallest square of both axis be a unit that means i have taken already that suppose when you get three uh, i have uh, i have taken the three squares so a unit 
So now plot this point, uh, obtain the table one and join them successfully or we get a straight line in the graph. Already we have got this one. Uh, again, we plot the second table, obtain in table two and join them successfully. We get a straight line in the graph. And we observe that two straight line intersect each other at the point minus four and minus seven, right? This one. And this point value of 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 are equal because this state line intersects at this point. So this point, the solution of this given equation is the abscissa. So here, which one is abscissa here? The abscissa will be minus 4. So we can write that is x is equal to minus 4. The required solution is x is equal to minus 4. So now 14 number, lay the length of three sides of triangle are x plus 2 centimeter, x plus 4 centimeter, and x plus 6 centimeter. And here given the x greater than 0 and the perimeter of triangle is 18 centimeter. And a number question, draw a proportional figure by the given condition and solve by forming equation, draw the graphs of the solution. Now let's solve this first number, a number. Solution of A. So here given the given the length of three sides of triangle x plus 2, x plus 4, and x plus 6 centimeter respectively. But here given x greater than 0. That means the value we have to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. But we will try it proportional figure. So that means here given 0, that means x greater than 0, that means don't take the value of x is 1. Uh, don't take the value of x is 0 more than zero you have to take if i take one it will be three it will be five it will be seven so like this way so suppose i have taken this according to the question uh, we can take this one the value of x plus two is this one suppose i have taken two x the value of x is two so it will be two two or four two plus two is four so the same the second one so it will be six so i have taken this one six centimeter and this one will be eight centimeters. So like this way, we have to draw this triangle. Okay, by using compass, you can draw it very easily, just whatever you can check this lens, but more than zero. So then uh, B number, solution according to the question, that means uh, in this question here given, in this question here given this one, the length of three sides of triangle are this one. This this three side x plus two x plus four and x plus six. And here given also the perimeter of the triangle is 18 meters. So you know the perimeter of triangle is 18 meter. The sum of three side, right? Sum of three side is equal to perimeter. So according to the question, we can write the sum of three side is equal to 18 because sum of three side is first side, second side, third side is equal to 18. We know the perimeter is equal to sum of three side of triangle. This is the formula. And so just remove this bracket x plus 2 x plus 4 x plus 6 is equal to 18. Then uh, how many x are there? 3x and 4, 6, 14 and 2, 12. So 3x is uh, 18 and 12 we will take in that so it will be minus and by transposition of this one. Uh, 3x is equal to 6 then divide by uh, 3 on both sides so it will be x is equal to 2. So we can solution x is equal to 2. So now we have to solve this one is x is equal to 2. Now uh, by using graph, again, we have to show this one, this uh, math solution x is equal to 2. So by using graph. Now, so from uh, solution of C from B, we get x is equal to 2. So x minus 2 is equal to 0. So the previous math already we have solved that taking some different value of x. First, we will take different value of x and we will find the corresponding value of x minus 2. But here is only one part. And make table 1 only. So first we will uh, place x and x minus 2 here. So x comma x minus 2. So please take any value. Uh, suppose I have taken the value of x is 2 and it will be 2 minus 2, it will be 0. So 2 comma 0. So if I take 4, so 4 minus 2, it will be 2 and 4 comma 2. And if I take the value of minus 2, so it will be minus 2 minus uh, minus 2, it will be minus 4. So minus 2 and minus 4. Now uh, this point we have to place in the graph paper. Okay now graph paper uh, we know first we have to draw this uh, horizontal and vertical line x o x prime and y o y prime 
and uh, now these three points we have to plot in this point so uh, i have uh, written in in your copy you have to write this one let two mutually perpendicular lines x o x prime and y y prime be respectively x x and y axis and o be the origin and on the graph paper taking the length of one side of the smallest square on both axes e as a unit that means these two so we have to go to the two square box if it is four four square box like this you have to take this one so now we will place this point two zero so here is two that means fcc is two so uh, one two and this one is a positive so we have to go to the right side and uh, ordinary is zero so don't go the upper and lower path so we have to place here the four to the next point is four two so this one is also plus so one two three four and two is also plus so you both one is plus, so we have to go to the first quadrant, right? So one, two here. Four, two. And the third point is minus two and minus four. So minus two is here in X axis, the, in, the, in the left side, we have to go, right? So minus two, one, two, and minus four. That means uh, in Y axis, uh, you have to go to the lower part. So one, two, three, four, this one. Now we have to join this point, whatever we'll get, that one is the straight line, right? And now plot this point, this obtain the in table and join them successfully, uh, successively and we get a straight line in, gra in the graph. And uh, we can write here, this straight line intersect x axis in 2, 0, this point uh, intersect with this. Suppose, suppose intersect like this. Suppose this is straight line, if it is here like this, so at the time one, two, three, uh, this straight line intersect in x axis, which, which point? One, two, three, four. Okay, in four. So it will be the answer will be x is equal to minus four. Because, and when intersect any line in x axis, always y will be zero. And when y axis intersect, okay, in y axis, any straight line intersect at that time x x will be zero the value of x will be zero so the so that we can write this required solution will be two now we'll ask some question what is graph already have learned this one and also you can write this one uh, what is plot the point on a graph paper a 3 comma 5 b 3 comma minus 5 comma and c the value of c is minus 2 and 0 then join the points and tell the name of this figure and everyone uh, in a graph paper just uh, plot this point and join the point then whatever you will get maybe triangle so this <laughs> is a home work right so homework will be 49 and question number 15 of exercise 7.3 page number 132 so students is graph uh, this this class is graph so please if you don't uh, if you have any confusion so ask your subject teacher in zoom class i have tried to make you understand my best thank you very much